what's going on guys and welcome back to another video so today's video I'm going to answer a question that probably all you guys ask me and I have no idea what the true answer is I should say because I personally have never tested it um, nor have I ever you know been concerned about it but the question you guys ask me is Eddie what does your truck get miles wise miles to the gallon how does it do on you know diesel and um, you know do you get good you know fuel mileage I have no idea you know I have never I've never tested that before um, now what I'm gonna do in this video and it's obviously going to you know take a couple days to complete the video but what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go pump some uh, fuel fill this thing up as of right now this thing says I'm getting 16.2 miles to the gallon now I want to see how accurate this thing is and that is with me driving you know city and driving highway um, have I ever tested it to see how true it is no so we're gonna uh, pull up to the gas station over here and we're gonna pump some fuel I'm gonna fill this thing up full I'm going to reset the mileage and then we will divide the uh, miles by gallons what I pump now before I start this video I want to make it clear this video is going to be for a LML Duramax that is deleted. So uh, I'm not comparing it to a LML that has the emissions and everything intact. I'm not, I don't know, you know, what that is. But what I'm going to do is it's going to be for a deleted LML, which means it's straight piped, five inch. I'm going to keep it in the tune that I drive in. And I always drive and number two, which is the tow tune on the DSP-5 switch. So currently, right now, we're at the station, we're gonna pump, we're gonna fill it, and I'm gonna go drive it for a couple days, fill it back up, and divide the miles by gallon and see you know, what happens and what it says. Right now, we're 16, so pretty much say 16 uh, miles per gallon. Now, this is also going to be set, you guys see where it says right there, last 50 miles? You can change this, so you can go to the last 25 you see now it goes 15.8 or you can go to 400 that goes 13.1 the truck is always set to 50 i'll do the last 50 miles and see and then we can do another video the last 25 later and see if it changes um see if there's much of a difference and how much it's fluctuating and also i get you guys telling me eddie i am missing a lot of stuff on my screen here on my denali Okay, what you guys gotta remember is when you first buy these trucks, not all of the pages are active, or turned on, I should say. What you gotta do is you gotta hit this left button right here. When you hit this left button, pulls up this little display here on the left. When you go all the way down to the settings right here, hit settings, and now scroll down to where it says pages. So I have 13 out of 14 pages currently that are on. And it will show you, if you wanna go click, I think, where was it? Hit okay, no, hit, yeah, hit the right button. So when you're on this section right here, click this right button, and we'll go give you the options right here. And you have to turn all these on. So trip A, trip B, fuel life, see all this stuff is on. The one that is not on is, okay, blank page. Well, maybe that's why I don't have it on, because it's a blank page. So you guys have to turn all these on if you wanna have all these options. A lot of times, you know, not all of them are on. You'll probably have eight or nine or 10 that are on. So that's how you get to there. Also, some of you guys wanna know how to change the um, display look. Same thing, settings, then go to, see, set to standard. You can switch, hit the right button, go to technology and that will change what it looks like up here on the dash. Now I always keep it in standard, well because in technology it only gives you fuel and temperature, and I like as many gauges as I can have on this. Media, I don't even remember what media is. Oh, media, eh, it's kind of the same thing. So I like to keep it in the standard mode right here that gives me uh, oil pressure and battery voltage, and as you guys know, when you uh, hit the tow mode, right here it goes away pulls up your tranny temp I don't really need that because I have my tranny temp right here my tranny temperature today has been at about 130 to 140 driving so now let's uh, start pumping some diesel and uh, well 
Let's get going. All right, guys, this is the fun part. Pumping fuel. Now, the truck had half a tank already. The back tank is empty. We're going to fill them both. And you guys always ask me, Eddie, why do you wear gloves? I wear the gloves because these things are full of diesel fuel. And, well, when I uh, get in my truck, I don't want to get diesel fuel all over my steering wheel. So it's easier uh, just to put some gloves on. A lot of you guys also ask me, Eddie, how can you go past 100? Why in D-Max Rhino's videos, it always stops at 100? Well, what D-Max Rhino does is he puts his credit card in there. And I believe credit card companies or stations, I don't know how it works. If you slide your credit card in there, it's going to stop at 100. Well, I clearly, when I pump fuel in here, I clearly need way more than 100. So you go up front. And I just give the lady the gallons. Tell her, you know, just put me 80 gallons or 70 gallons, however much uh, I think I'm going to take in here. And you just prepay so it doesn't stop at 100 so you can get a full tank. Because when it stops at 100, it drives me freaking nuts. It's a pretty nice truck right there. I'll give it to that Ford. It looks good. So that's why I prepay so it does not stop. And you guys think that Duramax over there uh, spews that little black smoke? maybe just a little bit and we're still going almost 230 bucks and 64 gallons all right looks like she's full that's almost 75 gallons 267 dollars that's not bad okay so now we're going to reset the trip oh uh, here we go okay trip a let's go here reset all boom all right so now, uh, next time I fill up, we're going to take the miles and divide it by the gallons of how much I fill up, and we'll see what this thing is going to get miles per gallon. All right, guys, it is now day two of driving the Dirty Max. So far, we have only put 50, 48 miles on her. Um, so, and according to the reading right now, miles per gallon, I believe it said 13 or 14 last time I checked. It is at 13 point two and this is with city driving and freeway driving both uh, majority so far has been city driving and now also my ht probe has officially taken a crap on me so you guys see those three dots right there that's usually the number of the uh where the egts would be well it is not working so we're going to order a new probe and I will show you guys uh, how I installed it and where I installed it and how easy it is. People think these probes are very difficult to install, but really they're not that hard. I mean, I would say the hardest part is just, you know, drilling it, tap and die, and that's about it, you know, so you can screw it into the manifold. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna order my new probe and I'll show you guys uh, where I put mine and how I installed it. Um, obviously mine's already installed, but I'll try to explain to you guys the best uh, way I can to show you how to install the EGT probe if you guys uh, have one because if you have a deleted truck I highly highly suggest that you guys put an EGT probe uh, in your manifold. All right guys now it is day three Driving the old uh, dirty max here and yes, man, we're getting some rain over here in California I don't know what the heck's going on, but uh, we're getting some serious rain. Well for us. This is serious This is right here, man. You, people can't drive in this stuff. The freeways are, are horrible right now but so far it is day three we have put 70 miles on the truck almost 69.5 i'm gonna finish the day out today and then at the end of the day we're going to pump uh some fuel i'm trying to put some miles on this truck but i got nowhere to go really but we're gonna pump the fuel divide the miles by a gallon then do our math and see exactly what this truck is getting miles per gallon wise all right guys so we have finished the day today with 113.5 miles right now that I've driven on the truck since I have filled it up. So now we are here at the gas station and we're going to fill up this truck with diesel. I am also going to fill up the back tank because I had to show a customer how the back tank worked. So I pumped a little bit from the back tank into the front. So I'm going to fill the truck up and fill the back tank up. Currently the truck is saying we are getting, let's see here. 16 miles to the gallon so 15.9 and I did leave it on the last 50 miles so uh, 60 miles to the gallon let's see how accurate this is all right guys we are pumping here so far at almost 10 bucks and two gallons currently 405 a gallon right now all right guys truck took 18 
dollars and 4.4 gallons. Now we're going to take this and let's pump this back tank up. For this specific test that I'm doing here so we can see how much this thing actually, oh, I guess that's about it. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I guess I didn't pump that much out of here. Yep, it is still full, right on the money. Okay guys, so we have stopped. We filled up the truck and the back tank. It took $20 and almost five gallons. So we'll just say five gallons everything took. Now let's get back in the truck. All right, now let's go back to the miles again. I believe it said 113. Okay, trip A. So I drove, so this is saying our average fuel was 15.1. I drove 113.5 miles. Well, shit, that's like over 20 miles to the gallon. I don't know the exact number, but we're gonna get a calculator here. Now we're gonna take 113.5, divide that by our five gallons, and that's gonna equal, wow, okay. Um, well, I don't, that's, that seems like a lot. Hmm. Either, either this truck, it's really good gas mileage, or, this thing uh, that says 60 miles per gallon is way off right here now guys I don't know you know how accurate this is going to be because obviously when you pump diesel you know it, it does bubble up but I know on my truck when I fill it and I know it's a good fill that fuel level right there see 99% uh, the back tank like I said I really didn't use hardly anything out of there I turned it on to show a customer it was on for probably I would say I don't know five seconds so you saw when I pulled the trigger on the pump in the back it only you know turned on for very a very minimal amount of time I did not use that much fuel in that back tank so I mean you know the math math doesn't lie according to our math this truck is getting 22.7 miles per gallon and that is you know I would say it's about right because I've checked it before and I'm average getting about anywhere between 18 to 20 miles per gallon today I did mainly freeway driving, so that's maybe why I almost got 23 miles to the gallon. But, I mean, here you go, guys. You guys asked me, what's my miles per gallon? I went 113 miles on five gallons. So, that's that's not bad. I would have to say that's pretty good. That's all I got for you guys today. If you guys like this video or have any questions about this video, and if you think I did something wrong, leave down the comment section. Let me know. So, thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button and don't really click subscribe. Peace. Yeah.